Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and welcome back to the channel and today we are carrying back on with our AFK Plankton Endurance series. Now today we are going to be covering Amplifier C and this for me is the one which is placed directly to the northwest of your map. Um, it will be just to the side of your home base uh, over there. So this is um, this is our defenses. Um, we're going to cover this section over in on another video, but our main defenses are these over here. And again, a lot of the husks are going to get taken out before they get up to this because we do have two possible directions they may want to come. They're going to be spawning around this section down here. It can be anywhere along this section. So they will either go up this natural ramp up here, which is where we're going to be trying to push them, or they may try to want to go up that way, which we have completely blocked off the tower. Um, not the tower, the um, cave in here. So I don't know if you can quite easily see, but there there is a long cave in there, which it kind of it kind of goes to the right a little bit, and then it goes straight through to the other side. So if I just come up over here for a moment, okay, this this is our cave, and I've literally just completely filled it up with with um, structures just to prevent them getting in there and it will come out down here as well so all all that we have in there is literally just this all the way along the straight line we have just got these structures so i'm not going to go through um every single one in there because it's going to I'm going to have to destroy it all in order to take it out. So you will just have that, which is just a wall and then a backward ramp. Make sure the ramp is facing this way from this direction. And that way, then they're not going to want to, to go up and walk straight up the ramp. Um, when you do get to the other section down here where we've got like this, um, this little corner to it uh, in there then in there you're going to have this instead and this will prevent them again from wanting to go through because they've got to smash through this and then they've got to smash through that and they've got to smash through this and and all the way around so that will be that will be in the cave so i'm not going to go through that bit step by step but for the outside section of this now of course this um this little natural ramp here it does go up from both sides so at the top of this you are going to place two floor freeze traps on the first one here the wall you're going to have a sound wall so if there are any propanes it's going to make them drop their propanes if they go any further and then they will head over to our next one here which has got a wall launcher on it which is going to fling them straight out over there quite often it can even send them a little bit further over than that down to the next level which is even better um, from this side then next to this one you're going to have another sound wall in case any propanes come up from this direction so it will make them drop all of their propane tanks now above these two structures here the uh, sound wall and the wall launcher we're going to have two ceiling gas traps now on top of that if we just get up here you're going to place a plain wall and then on top of that you're going to place then more floor pieces so we'll go through we'll go through all the floor pieces first seeing as we are here anyway so from this point here you're going to go forward one square and you're going to place one two three and four okay and that will fetch you over to here from here move forward one square and you're going to place another four for a second row and then if you move forward another square and there will be another four going this way as well now from here if you move to your right one square and then move forward and if you place three more for the moment that will take you in line with the rest of these that you've placed and then from here go forward another square and place another three going up and from this point 
you need to move to your right one and two squares and then from here move forward and you are going to place two tiles so this is going to fetch it in over to your next row now from this point if we turn now and face to the south you're going to place in another three tiles going across here and that will fetch you up to this corner of the natural um, mountain here now if we turn now to the east and you're going to want to place two tiles in front of you and then another two and another two and then another final two on the end and on the last four tiles you are going to place anti-air traps so that will that will pretty much cover all of your ceiling pieces up here so if we now get back down the bottom over here okay and at this point where we have our sound wall now we're going to turn and stay facing the north now so from this you are pretty much you're going to fill pretty much all of these squares in um, with ceiling drop traps now this is going to take you up to where this natural bit of ramp stops and goes flat here then these few squares in here are going to have your ceiling electric fields instead because there's no need to have the drop traps up there they they can just be the ceiling electric fields so that will cover that section but make sure this one which is over the top of this natural ramp again that will be a ceiling electric field as um sorry a ceiling drop trap as well and from the top then of this natural bit of mountain of course none of these other structures are here at the moment so you will just be following your ceiling pieces so from here you're going to place ceiling gas traps then which are going to come all the way around here up to this point so you'll have a long line of these ceiling gas traps from this point then we are now facing back to the east and you're going to have a ceiling electric fields for the next three going forward a four sorry and then next to those they are going to be the gas traps again so that is how the ceiling pieces will work so back down here then where we've got our sound wall we're going to head now towards this natural ramp over here and just at the bottom of it on the right hand side you're going to place a sound wall and if you walk up to the ramp just in front of you you're going to have your edited wall on the right hand side and to your right then will be a wall launcher now up onto the top where it starts going flat again you're going to place a floor freeze trap on the floor you'll have your edited wall then in front of you on the right hand side and to your right will be a wall launcher from here move to your left one square and you're going to place a wooden floor spike on the floor behind you will be a wall launcher and then move forward one square you're going to have floor freeze trap on the floor to your left you will have your edited wall like this directly in front will be wall darts and to your right will be a broadside now from here if you move to your left one square you are going to have floor freeze trap on the floor a broadside to your left wall darts directly in front of you so if you then turn directly round and move forward one square and you'll have your wooden floor spikes on the floor a wall launcher directly in front of you and a broadside on the right hand side so then all you need to do is come back over to this um, this tile here with a floor freeze trap so we're going to move up this ramp now, now to the top and at the very top of this ramp you're going to place a tar pit and to your left you're going to have a sound wall to your right uh, sorry directly in front of you will be a wall launcher and to your right then will be your edited wall like this from here turn to your right and move forward one square and you'll have your tar pit on the floor wall launcher wall darts then to your left and a wall launcher directly in front of you from here turn to your right 
now you're going to place your edited wall this time on the left hand side move forward one square you will have your tar pit on the floor you'll have wall launcher on your left and another edited wall on the left hand side of you here from this point move forward again and it's going to be identical so we've got another tar pit on the floor wall launcher on your left and your edited wall then in front of you move forward one more square and you will have tar pit on the floor wall launcher in front of you and on your left hand side then your edited wall back on the right hand side so from this if you then point towards the east move forward one square you're going to have wooden floor spikes on the floor wall launcher on the right and an edited wall in front of you on the right hand side move then to your left one square and you've got tar pit on the floor you have your edited wall this time all the way across like this on your left hand side will be wall darts and behind you will be a broadside move forward one square and tar pit on the floor wall darts on the left and a broadside directly in front of you from here move to your right one square and you've got wooden floor spikes on the floor edited wall in front of you which will be on the right hand side and a wall launcher to your right from this move forward again one square and we have the wooden floor spikes on the floor edited wall then on the right hand side will be in front of you your wall launcher to your right and then you need to move to your left one square again and you've got your tar pit on the floor again edited wall this time all the way across like this to your left will be a wall darts and behind you will be a broadside move forward one square and you've got tar pit on the floor wall darts on your left and a broadside directly in front and then move to your right one square and you've got wooden floor spikes on the floor edited wall on the right hand side will be just in front of you and your wall launcher to your right and that is going to cover the traps and the trap tunnels now we do then have a little bit of block off over here just in case smashers come up our, our section and don't want to go around all of this sometimes they may might try to come through so this this sort of corner will already be in here so from this corner all you're going to do is you're going to just have two edited cones which will be in this shape and surround them by walls and then directly behind that you're going to have exactly the same two more edited cones like this and surround them in walls and and that will do the block off so that will be your defenses for your amplifier c which is directly to your northwest and from the top this is what they will look like so that is all the defenses they're pretty straightforward this one nothing too complex nothing too complicated but they will definitely do the job so i hope you do find this useful if you do, don't forget to hit that like down below, smash the subscribe before you go, turn on the notification bell, you'll always get updated of all my content when it comes out. If you do want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter, Twitch and Discord, there should be links in the description down below. And if you do find it useful, please consider using code RIVERFOX as it will help me out a great deal. But until the next one, I hope you have a lovely day and stay safe my friends.